Yeah, we've learned some interesting things about survival. We expected going in, uh, I'll just give you some yeah. background. We expected going in that survival was going to be lowest during the winter and highest during the summer. Well, it's just the opposite. And that was a very surprising result. Survival rates during winter are very high, typically 90% 90, 90 or higher. And it's the March, April, and May period and transitioning a little bit into June where most of our mortalities occur. And a lot of our predation mortality has been a significant number of, of female, denny females have been killed by bobcats. Um, and we, and remember we have cameras focused on dentries and, and we detect bobcats at fisher dentries quite commonly. We had a female fisher F-15 where we actually have photo record of a bobcat coming up to the den tree, sitting there looking up, and then a few picture frames later we see that bobcat with a fisher kit in its mouth, and we see the female fisher F-15 scurrying around in front of the bobcat, trying to protect the kit. We know the kit died, and we actually found, and the female died as well. So that bobcat killed both the kit and the female at the <coughs> den tree. But this last fall, we're working with UC Davis, uh, and a PhD student there, and we were able to get a GPS radio collar on a bobcat, what the bobcats are doing, so we can link that to what fishers are doing uh, and understand whether or not we are seeing increased uh, levels of habitat, overlap in habitat use between uh, fisher uh, and bobcat. Uh, the Kings River Project to our south, they have two bobcats radio collar down there, same story.